So let's create this glitch animation, dragging the text plus node onto the timeline, head over to the fusion page and let's make some room over here. I'm going to disconnect this and move this to the left. So let's view this template over here. I'm going to change the text and I'm also going to change the font. I'm going to decrease the font size and increase the tracking amount. Let's create our glitch texture. So for that, we will need to use fast noise. It's like a fractal noise effect if you're using After Effects or Hit Film. So let's view this. This is how it's going to look. And the first thing we'll do is increase the scale amount. I'm also going to increase the detail and the contrast. And I'm also going to decrease the brightness. So let's go to the color tab over here. And under color one, we have alpha. I'm going to set this to one so we don't have transparent background. And let's go back and let's increase the sweet rate amount. So now it's going to animate continuously. Then we can also go to unlock the X and Y. We can set the X scale to 20 and Y scale to 2. And we can also animate the angle. So I'm going to go to the very first frame, create a keyframe on angle, move to the very end and set this to 360. And it's going to rotate like that. Then we're going to add a mosaic blur effect to this. Click on add. Let's view this. And I'm going to change the pixel frequency to 60. All right, so now we'll get these choppy pixelated effect. Now we will add brightness and contrast to this. Click on add and we will use brightness and contrast to animate this glitch. So let's view this. And on the very first frame, I'm going to set the gain to five, create a keyframe, move 10 frames forward and set this back to zero. And let's go to 140th frame and set create a keyframe there go to the end and set this back to five. Now we need to apply this texture on our text. So let's add in a matte control, click on add and let's connect this template to our matte control in as a background can be your text plus node as well. The brightness contrast, we're going to pipe it into this matte control as a garbage matte. So you can do that or you can also right click and just drag it to this node and from this list you can select garbage mat. Alright, so in the mat control, if we view this node, you won't be able to see anything. And that's because we need to go inside the garbage mat and set the channel to luminance. There's no red, green, blue channel or alpha channel in our brightness and contrast. The only channel there is is luminance, so we're going to select that. And let's view this matte control. So as you can see, it's going to apply this brightness and contrast into our text. So then after that, we're going to add a displaced node to this. So search for displace, click on add. If we take a look at this, it's not going to do anything because it's looking for some data. So you can see that the displaced node, the input or the foreground is empty. So we can just connect this brightness and contrast to this displaced node. And now you can see something happening. I'm going to change the type to XY. So we then animate it either on the horizontal or vertical axis. Then we just have to select which axis you want to animate. I'm going to animate the Y. So I'm going to set the Y channel to Luma and then Y refraction. We can set this to either negative zero one or positive zero one. We set this to negative zero one. It's going to animate in like that thereby creating your stretched glitch. If we further go inside the settings of this displace node, there is this RGBA. So if we turn off, um, let's turn these all off so you can see the R over here. We can see the red channel. Similarly, you can see the green channel over here as well. But if I turn that on, it's going to look something like that. And then we have the blue as well, which will enable all the three channels. So you get the RGB effect inside the animation as well so that's pretty much it all you have to do is just connect it with the media out go back to the edit page and there you have your animation so i hope this video is helpful i hope you enjoyed this as much as i enjoyed making it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one